Sergio, right <coughs> uh, so give me the cue. Now, this one. The, for him to come in. He didn't want to play me the song, and one of my musicians sent it to me. It was a smash. That love, that passion never stops, because he was doing this project just privately, on his own, you know, funding it himself, and just, it's still there. You're born a musician and you die a musician. The song is so beautiful, it means so much. Sí, es seguro que no pienso como antes lo hacía en ti. I surprised him. I told him to come down to Miami and, and, and we went to this recording studio and I said, Dad, can I record this with you? Because I think it's a number one hit. It's very special for me because I knew Felipe also uh, from the neighborhood. He was really, you know, close friends with my dad. So it was a special recording, one of the most special things I've done, to be honest. Recording this year's song was, to me, was like something very, very big, you know, to be singing with my son. How did it feel? Good. It was cool, right, Bobby? Let's do it again. <laughs> the most bizarre experience I've ever had in a recording studio was recording this song with my dad. Our voices, el timbre, they're so similar. I couldn't tell who was who. When the vocals first came in, I didn't know who was singing. I understood why my phrasing was my phrasing. I, I understood why I would hold on to certain notes and sn snap some other ones off. It, it, it was almost like the same person singing. Oh my God. I see that song bringing out the, the bolero in people. You know, they used to dance to boleros. They don't do that no more. Maybe this song will bring all those people out of fall in love again. Cheek to cheek, have a day, get married, have kids. <laughs> I want to be responsible for that one, huh? bringing all that back. Let us see what we got. Okay, Mark, I want you to check out this vocal from Felipe. Check it out. Si, es seguro que no pienso como antes lo hacía en ti. I put him in some pretty tough spots in that, in that I said, all right, Dad, um, we're gonna do this. I want you to do Radio City Music Hall with me. Well, that feeling, there's no way to describe it. I just, I get piel de gallina because it's, it's so exciting. I'm so proud of him, and there's a lot more to come. It's a nice feeling, unbelievable, because it, he's so big that I, I just can't believe it. When he was Tony, I still love him the same way I love him now, but. He belongs to the whole world now. He doesn't belong to me anymore alone. Tony's still there, but in my mind, now he's Mark Anthony. <laughs> my Mark Anthony.